memory is linked to emotion. So if you cut off your emotions, you can like essentially cut off your memories. I was trying to explain this timeline of my eating disorder. I was like, I'm really sorry. I can't remember when things happened. It's like a Swiss cheese memory because I was just constantly like cutting off emotions and making sure that I never felt anything. I'm Cynthia. I suffered from bulimia for a couple of years and during that time I also was diagnosed with depression and anxiety. I was always really concerned with my appearance. When I was in probably grade nine I started to realize that there, there was like a lot of really pretty girls in my high school and I didn't think I was one of them. So I went on this like weird diet where I only ate baby carrots and like a tablespoon of ranch dressing mixed with water and that was all I would eat. And then that's when my eating became really weird and really restrictive. Before like I got sick, I had a bunch of friends in university, like I was living in second year. I moved in with four other girls and I was really excited about that. But this summer in between first year and second year, I was binging and purging every day and they weren't living in London anymore. Um, I was by myself. They came home and I couldn't stop binging and purging. Like even when they were there, I couldn't, I just couldn't stop. So I started to feel really ashamed and like really embarrassed because like I knew they knew what I was doing, but I couldn't face them anymore. So I would just, I just isolated myself in my room and uh, my relationship with my roommates who were also friends like deteriorated really quickly and I had to move out before even the year was over. I was seeing a therapist who worked with something called the inner child. As I was talking to him, like there was a recurring theme that I hated myself and like it was such an intense hatred that it was like making me do things to destroy myself. And um, so he asked me one session, like just go home and take out a picture of you when you were a kid. So I went home, I found a picture, like one of my favorite pictures of me when I was a kid. Like, you look at that picture, and then you think about how you feel towards yourself, and then you like project that onto this kid, and like, I completely lost it, because I was like, oh my God, this kid has grown up to like, absolutely hate herself, and like, want nothing to do with this world and like that was such a sad thought to me because you never wish that on a child right like you just wouldn't and yet that's exactly what was happening um so that kind of like i think looking at that picture made me find like a soft spot for my own self because up until that point it was just like pure hatred I think that a lot of people think that people are bulimic because they want to be skinny and that's the only reason. That's not true. Um, it is about your image, but it's about so much more than that. Like your how you look almost becomes irrelevant. it becomes not a choice. It's like, through hell or high water, this is gonna happen, even if you don't want it to. And like, a lot of the times, I didn't want to be binging or purging. Like, I marched myself to the hospital because I was like, somebody make this stop. So I define success like in relation to my eating disorder, not so much like I've won an award, for example, but like I can look in the mirror and not hate myself. 
I can just like see myself and not find every single thing that's wrong with me. And that is not something that I've ever been able to do in my whole life, but I can now. Anybody who feels like they're not worth something or like their life isn't worth anything, it doesn't matter if they were, if they're here or if they were to just disappear because I felt like that, um, that's not true. Like they, you do matter. Everybody matters. Might not feel like it all the time, but like everybody matters to somebody and just like find a way to matter to yourself.